Hi there folks, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to do a product review of this really cool solar generator I've got here. It's called the Van Powers Super Power Pro. So to get the unit going you push the uh, power on off button and it's probably a little hard for you folks to read but it's currently at 37 percent is what's left in the battery. So this is a little more technical view of what's called the LCD display. So I'm going to turn the unit around so when you mean business and are ready to plug stuff into this, I'll show you where it all goes. So there's still a variety of electronic items that use this cigarette lighter inlet uh, type device to power them up. And I absolutely love the thinking behind this. This has happened to me on other uh, solar power generators where when I've got my three prong plugs all lined up, they bump into each other. The van powers unit has all of these three prong plugs facing different directions. So now this area is not covered up. So I can now plug in lots of other stuff. So I had the opportunity to testing either of these models from Van Powers, uh, the Van Powers SPP 2000 or the Van Powers SPP 1500. And as you can see, there are only a hundred dollars difference between the two. And the SPP 2000 here is the more powerful. You do need to use Van Power's dedicated solar panels and they're really nice quality. I also really like that you can daisy chain these 200 watt solar panels together. I only have two but you can get up to nine of those. That means that if you do and have those all connected you'll end up with 1800 watts. I know from experience now relying on solar here at my place that 1800 watts of solar panels should charge that unit no time flat. So the really good thing is these solar panels fold up and unfold really easily and to carry them you just put them in these carrying cases just zips open pop your solar panel in there and away you go. So I discovered it's super important that uh, you have these panels at the right angle and that's easily done by just pulling out the supports that go with these panels and that'll put them right at the right angle. And hooking up the connectors, they're called male-female connections, really easy. You just uh, do that to join the two sets of panels together. And this cord which connects those two 200 watt foldable panels goes right up through a hole in my floor and then to run all of those solar panels, all of them, this is the plug-in for that. And also you can use this uh, port to plug this in to an AC outlet like whether you're at the house or in my case if I want to plug it into my other solar generator that's bigger than this. So this is great at 2 in the afternoon those two 200 watt panels are bringing in 383 watts. Really appreciate the extra super sturdy handle. So as you can tell folks, even though this isn't a super light unit, it's still very doable to be carried even by an old guy with a bad knee. And I'll tell you the other thing that I absolutely love about this unit. So I absolutely love this handle. Um, it makes this whole thing so much easier to transport. It's made out of solid metal and um, naturally I wouldn't kind of just twist it and swing it around and you know 
be careless with the whole unit. Um, but I think with normal use, this should last really, really well. Well, folks, I know I've mentioned this before, but this is going to be the future site of my, what I call my big house, which will be 640 square feet of living space. And then I'll do two large porches on each side, meaning it'll be around 1,200 square feet. Well, as you can imagine, when I'm doing construction here, I'm going to need some power. The nearest power is in my little cabin 100 feet away. So I'm going to need to run a lot of power tools, chop saws, and all kinds of other stuff. So this is where the Van Powers Super Power Pro comes in handy. Take our skill saw here. Plug her in like that. And let's see how it goes. Instant power, ready to work. So if you're using the unit on a job site, you can ground it right here. And then your reset button here, just in case you need to do that. So there are a lot of ways to recharge this machine. You can use the cigarette lighter in your vehicle, a uh, gas generator. And if you live in a typical home that's tied to the grid and simply want to rapid charge it, you can just plug it into a wall outlet. The unit has four USB-C outputs. These are the current modern USB ports. So I want to say I'm feeling a little embarrassed. Here I was grumbling that uh, Van Powers uh, left me totally out of the loop with these USB ports that um, are USB-C. So I'm like, okay, how am I going to use those? I'm not because almost every device I have, I think everything I have, is USB-A. Fortunately, they sent two of these adapters. Go in like so, go in like so. Now, my USB-A snaps right in there nicely. Now, if I was out on a birding excursion and had this power station with me, wanted to charge my smartphone because my car hadn't been running a lot, you hear a little ding noise, that means that the smartphone's charging and I'm good to go. These are DC5521 outputs. I personally don't have any use for them, but perhaps some of you watching do. So I never really expected this from a solar generator, but it has a built-in Wi-Fi as well. So the Van Power Super Power Pro has 2000 watts for its maximum output. Now it can surge over that, uh, but Personally, I don't like to tend to do that with these solar generators. I like to keep them well within the parameters of their maximum watt output. I think that just allows the machine to live longer. For those who are really into controlling things with a smart app, then the Van Powers is, will definitely meet those requirements. Well, it's the end of the day, and I am one hungry old dude. So, got some skinless, boneless chicken. Going to throw it in my toaster oven. There we go. Crank her on broil. And we'll give it uh, 30 minutes. There. And along with the broiled chicken, I think I'll have some frozen vegetables. Get them heated up. Uh-oh. Are you there, folks? Sudden darkness. Not good. I'm going to have to figure this out. I'm not going to be cheated out of dinner that easily. So what happened, folks, is I was broiling the chicken with my toaster oven. That was plugged in. And then when I fired up the inductive cooktop, a combination of those two uh, appliances, a little too much wattage going on, and my solar generator I normally use just said, OK, we're powering down here. And it did. But. I'm still hungry. 
I still want to finish up dinner and I've got a plan. I parked the Van Powers Super Power Pro right underneath the toaster oven. Now I already checked. It's not hot under here at all, so the unit is fine. So it's all hooked up, which is great, but the unit still doesn't know it's supposed to be the power source for this toaster oven. So let's power up, push the AC button on. Red light on the toaster oven means our chicken is back in business. Okay, as they say, let's try this again. So I'm going to start up the inductive cooktop with my vegetables in it. No brownouts now. And I don't have to worry about drawing too much power off my main power source because the van powers is doing its thing. So now you can see the toaster oven is drawing um, about 958 watts. Okay, a bit of an adventure, but dinner is now served. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Worth the wait. So how this all came about, I checked my email and Van Powers literally sent me an email saying, hey, our company watches your YouTube videos and would you like to test our product? So folks, just to let you know, Van Powers is not paying me to do any kind of advertising or anything. I'm just trying out the Super Power Pro to see if I like it. And I had the option of just returning it if I didn't like it. Well, I'll tell you, I won't be returning it, that's for sure. So thanks very much, folks, for joining me here, as always, on another video. And a big thank you and shout out to Van Powers for sending me that email. So for those of you who have further questions, maybe, about the unit that I can't answer, there's going to be uh, a link in my video description here below where you can ask Van Powers any questions and read more and learn more about these units. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell thing. That'll let you know when my next video posts. And I so appreciate each and every one of you. See you on the next video.